flew in and landed on Leo's arm. Well, women, as we know, being women generally, freak out when wasps <laughs> land anywhere near them, especially the six month old baby. So, um, Emma jumped out of the pool and ran into Leo, who had no idea, bless him. But as she entered the conservatory, it, you know, solid ground floor, she slipped and basically went vertical in the air about this time and landed on the spine. Um, we called an ambulance and about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half later, it turned up. At first, she didn't seem so bad really. I mean, we left her on the floor for what? 10, 15 minutes and then with my sort of help, she was moving a bit. So we got her onto the set here before, you know, the ambulance turned up. Um, yeah, so the ambulance turned up um, and it got severely worse. So they strapped her up um, basically from the bottom of her spine to the top of her neck um, so that she couldn't move and make it worse. For some reason, she'd asked if I would go with her um, to look, and her dad stay and look after the kids because he was meant to go to church with her. Um, uh, dad's a great guy, you know, he's always there for her, a drop of a hat. Um, any of you out there who have kids already and have been at the birth will know how hard the missus would grab hold of your hand. This was even tighter. She was in absolute agony. Um, I've never seen anyone in so much pain, to be honest. Um, we arrived at the hospital waiting to be seen while they had to stop, strap her to the bed with four or five straps um, across her full body as she was in so much pain. She was trying to move her legs, um, which obviously could have made it worse. The thing is, it gave me time to talk to Emma about God and about what he can do and what he will do with a little faith and <coughs> also what he'd done for me. <clears throat> At one point during the seven hours um, we were there, she said, shoot, you're falling asleep standing up. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm praying for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I pray, I pray for patience myself all the time, but, you know, having kids, it's, it's one of them, but... Uh, we didn't, have this, we didn't have the time, you know, so I was, I, I prayed so hard for her so much that night. She went for an x-ray um, at about one o'clock in the morning um, and she told me later on that she prayed herself on the way to the x-ray. 20 minutes later, she came back and it was playing the waiting game. <clears throat> about half an hour later, the doctor came in and she was astonished, you could see it written all over her face. In her words, she said, I don't know what to say, but in my whole career, she had never seen anything like it. She said, since your last x-ray you had, your back is actually better, it's mending, it's straightening, and no longer with the metal plates an issue. Hallelujah. Before this day, Emma couldn't feel <coughs> um, her left toes at all, and now she can. The doctor said, if you can get up and walk two steps that way and two steps back on your own, we might be able to discharge you. Uh, I mean, well, she stood up slowly on her own, as the doctor said. Not only that, she carried on standing, even though I offered her a seat. It was in my eyes a miracle of God. She then walked about 500 yards in and out of the hospital, waiting for her dad to pick us up, completely unaided. I phoned her the other day and she was wandering about the house, we were on video chat, she was wandering about the house with baby Leo under her arms as if nothing had happened. I also spoke to her the other day and she said she'd been running races with Brooke in the street and the other kids. <laughs> um, uh, I mean we joke about Rory and uh, we always have since they were born, they've been close, uh, Rory, Rory and Brooke, we joke that they're like their boyfriend and girlfriend <laughs> since they were toddlers. So yeah, if you're running up and down the street two weeks later, um, I mean, I don't know what the average person would think of all this, but I know, and so does she now believe it was Jesus. He healed her and continue, continues his glorious, amazing work in all of us um, who he calls and that all that believe. Last of all, um, I took a Bible to Emma the very next day, and so she now herself is a child of God. Thanks very much. Wow.